Bioware began to let loose a very creative and compelling story-driven game called Mass Effect in 2007. The game was to be a trilogy following a character-created protagonist in the year 2183 in the Milky Way Galaxy. Now while these games were very well received and loved by fans, it kept them wanting much, much more throughout the years. And so to feed its ever-growing fanbase, Bioware decided to deviate from their norm and try out something new for their Mass Effect IP. And so in today's video, we'll be discussing Mass Effect Team Assault. Now we can't talk about Mass Effect Team Assault without first talking about the final hours of Mass Effect 3. This was a behind the scenes style app that provided its users with just that, an in-depth look at everything it took to create the Mass Effect trilogy. This app provided its users with all types of information including details on how the pilot of Mass Effect 3 changed throughout the production including the removal of key characters, top secret documents from the early days of production on Mass Effect through Mass Effect 3. Deconstructed story scenes from the game where you choose different options to create different outcomes, and much much more. But one very odd thing that people found in this app was a file that showed images and footage of a first person shooter Mass Effect game that was prototyped and never released. It was titled Mass Effect Team Assault. Mass Effect Team Assault was a cancelled multiplayer first person shooter set in the Mass Effect universe that was in development in 2010 by Bioware's Montreal Studio. The project was meant to be a downloadable game to be released on Xbox Live Arcade and the PSN, with gameplay that would have been similar to that of the Unreal Tournament or Battlefield. But after 4 months of the prototype's development, the idea was scrapped and somehow it evolved into a possible co-op mode for Mass Effect 3 and later into the third person multiplayer mode available in the released game. Info and videos from Mass Effect's Team Assault are available in this final hours of Mass Effect 3 app. Now this application was composed by Jeff Cayley, a journalist who is very well known in the video game industry. Now Cayley has confirmed these facts and was quoted as saying, The goal was simple to create a standalone multiplayer experience in the Mass Effect universe that would mix the playstyles of Unreal Tournament and Battlefield 1943, and likely be released as a downloadable game. The game was in development for 4 months and was presented in March of 2010 as a prototype scene in the images and the story. The people over at Bioware liked the idea of a multiplayer shooter because it presented an added view of the wide-ranging war occurring during Mass Effect 3. The idea morphed into the development of a co-op mode for Mass Effect 3 itself. The main game's engine wouldn't allow users to play co-op in the main campaign of Mass Effect 3, but it would allow them to team up in a separate skirmish mode, which is what Bioware delivered in the sequel that finally came out. As the Bioware developers shifted to that idea, Mass Effect Team Assault was put on hold. The final hours of Mass Effect is packed with stories and interviews just like the ones we explained. And if you want to read more about the making of Mass Effect 3, watch the video interviews with developers and check out the deleted scenes from the game, and even go through some of the concept art that Bioware provided. The final hours of Mass Effect app can currently be downloaded on iTunes. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching, check out some of our other videos if you like, and also follow me on social media and give us any suggestions if you have any for unreleased games or beta gaming videos. And I'll see you all next time.